There's only one moving part. That's the water wheel. It has a pillow block um, bearing surface on both sides and it has a 360 degree hydraulic connector that you use for hydraulic equipment on the far side. Down in front of me is a water air splitter. It separates the water from the air so it's captured by the wheel. The water <coughs> is sent in a mix. You see that clear tube, part water, part air, goes through that and runs up this orange line and up the hill to some tanks that are up at the top of the hill. That's about 70 feet of lift up to those tanks. The hose goes in at the bottom and comes out through that yellow splitter. One of the lines runs over to an experiment I have over to the left of me. The other one runs up into the tree about 50 feet where it goes to a T and the, the line continues on up another five feet and then the T over comes down this black pipe that runs over to my water slide and the water that's coming out here is coming from that line. You notice that there's a gap in water. What's happening is the water is going past that T and down the line and then it grabs some air because there, it, does, it isn't a continuous draw. So you get an air spit. This is my slide at the bottom. It's kind of green now because it hasn't been used much in algae growth. The bottom is a hinge, the last six feet, using a rope. So when you land on it, it pushes down and slows you down. I started with the air gauge. The air gauge is the amount of pressure that runs this whole system, which runs right at 22 pounds, between 21 and 22 pounds pressure. Water weighs just under a half a pound a cubic feet or a foot of elevation and yet this water lifts up to the top of the hill up there about 70 feet. <laughs> 